Recording in progress. So we're starting with social class. A social class refers to people of similar status in society. That is social class. People of similar status. That means they have the same status within the society. And this status can be identified through the following factors, factors such as wealth, the work, the income, and the family you belong to. So that is what social class is about. Okay. People having the same or similar status in the society belongs to the same social class. And for us to be able to identify this class, it means we are checking factors such as the wealth, the income, the occupation, the family the person comes from. Four family, what did you say? Income. Yeah, income. Wealth. Okay. And occupation. Yeah, occupation. Occupation. Yeah, yeah. I think it's clear. Yeah. So here, yeah, people know people's own idea about their social class position are their sub are, sub are their subjective class, meaning that individuals might think they are in one class, while sociologists might decide they belong to another group. So mm -hmm. you deciding, you thinking about the kind of class you belong to is yeah. subjective, is your subjective view. Because you might think this is the class you belong, and sociologists say, see it in another way. So, oh, I belong to the middle class. This is your own view. Yes. But when sociologists analyze it, they analyze that you belong to the working class. Yes. Yeah. Maybe as a result of uh, embodiment. Mm. Do you understand? So, oh, or, yes, as a result of embodiment, or maybe uh, we call it proletarization, which means you are moving from being a working uh, a middle class to lower down the ladder that is politicization then if it is embodiment it means you are moving up the ladder okay did you get it yeah so we have different views about social class we have the functionalist view about social class for the functionalist according to kingsley davis and wilbert they argue that social class is inevitable in any complex middle, modern society because the society has a common value system which individuals are ranked based on stratification. So what they are saying is this, that in a modern society where things are working with system, it means capitalists value what you do. They value hard work. They value productivity. So as a result of that, they will, uh, they will reward you based on this valued system. Yes. Do you get it? So for capitalist society, I wrote, capitalist society value individual achievements, efficiency, and production. So there are high rewards for successful business executives. So class has a function. So for, for, uh, for functionalists, they believe having a class is functional because it, it makes you to do, it makes the things that has to be done to be done mm -hmm. with class, with, func or with class. According to functionalists, yeah. they believe there's a system, there's a structure that has to, that has to be in place. So as a result of that, things that need to be done will be done because they will be rewarded for getting it done. So that means it is important to have class within the society. Yes. And also they argue that unequal distribution of wealth, income, and power are important to ensure a working society. They feel there's inequality. Yes, we all agree, agree that there's inequality in wealth, power, and income. But according to functionalists, these, things, these inequalities are important to have a functioning society. Why? Because not everybody would make laws. Not everybody will rule the society. Yeah. The society will be ruled by few of the few people who have that knowledge, who have that you know potential, potential yeah. and per, uh, per, uh, perspective to rule. So that means everybody will not be there. So because only limited number of individuals can take important decisions. Therefore, leaders are, are necessary, and they must be rewarded according to the value placed on what they do. So. We won't call them leader. We call them leader based on the value they put to the society. Yeah. So we, they, will be stand, they will stand out. Because they are standing out, it means they, are the, they have a class. It means they have a status. It means they have wealth. Mm -hmm. As a result of that, they have power. So how are we going to be able to justify this? How are we going to be able to distinguish this? We can only distinguish it with class. Yeah. So that's why, according to functionalists, class is important. And lastly, they believe they are, that any attempt to alter the situation is bad because the conflict generator will be harmful to the society. If there's no class, according to functionalists, mm -hmm. anybody would want to rule. So how are we going to be able to take you out to accept that you are, you are supposed to be our ruler? We are going to accept because there are valued systems in the society. We are going to accept because 
you have what we don't have. So that is according to functionalists. Is it clear? Yeah. Then for the Marxists, they said, uh, according to Karl Marx, Karl Marx saw class as the divining feature of modern industrial societies. He wrote that there are two types of classes. We have the upper class and the working class. For the upper class, we're talking about those that own production. They are the bourgeoisie. They, are, they own production. And for the working class, they own nothing but their ability to work. They don't have anything. The only thing they have is their ability to work. So they only work too? For Marxists. For Marx, Karl Marx, that is what he said. Okay. He said, according to him, he believed that there are two classes in the society, the working class yes, and okay. the upper class. For the upper class, they are the ones in, in charge of production. Okay. Uh, yeah. And for the working class, what they do is, they don't have anything than their working ability. That's all. Yeah. Do you get it? Yeah. So Karl Marx recognized that there are other classes, but he argued that the middle class are going to either move above the class ladder or fall behind the class ladder to become proletariats. So uh, for Karl Marx, he doesn't see middle class. He felt, he felt that they would be proletarized. Like they would become either middle class or they become yeah. uh, lower or uh, working class or upper class. Okay. Do you get it? So mm. for him, he believed that there's proletarialization. Proletarialization means you are moving down, up or down the ladder. From up to down? Yes. Okay. Do you understand? So according to Karl Marx, he believed that the, work, the middle class people will finally go back to well, working class. Yeah. Is it clear? Yes. So that's about that. Then we have the Weberian. The Weberian explanation of class. That's Max Weber. For Max Weber, his own approach is about, is similar to Karl Marx. Okay. But uh, the similarities about it is that class is situated in the economic structure of the society because for the Marxists, they believe class is a structure. And also, they are both conflict approaches. So Marx Weber's ideology is, is conflict, yeah. same as Karl Marx. Yeah. Okay? But Weber, however, recognized the existence of more classes than Marx. He believed that the social class is based on the economic marketplace, in which position varies according to income, skills, and qualification. According to Web, Weber, an individual position on the ladder doesn't only depend on income, but considerable status. So according to Max Weber, what he felt is that it is not all about class. What makes you to be ahead in the this, in this society is not just your class. It could be your status, it could be your income, it could be your wealth, it could be your production level. So it is not just about your status. Do you get what he's saying? He said, individual position in the society is not just about the class or status. It is more than that. You have to check the income. You have to check his occupation. You have to check the family he comes from, the marketplace. Mm. So not just wealth, not just status, not just family. There are other factors that have to be considered before you have that class. That is according to Max Weber. So Do you get his own ideology? So there is not like patriotism, right? He doesn't think about patriotism, which is... Uh... It, no, it's, it's conflict too. But for him, he doesn't believe that there is class, that class is structured. He believes there is class, but it is based on different factors. But according to yeah. Karl Marx, he believes class is structured. It is uh -huh. the way the capitalists want it. Okay. But for him, for Max Weber, he said, no, class is not just the way the capitalists want it. It is based on different criteria. So, so they can get out of um, yeah. Do you understand? So that is about Max Weber. I think it's clear. Yeah. So then we have the feminism and social class, which is the last one. Yeah. For the feminists, I would, they argue that in some societies, there are many households in which women income is essential to maintain living standards and to move the family up the social class ladder. We have the dual class family. So for, according to feminists, they believe that individuals can move above the class ladder okay. if the, both partners work hand in hand. So because both partners are working hand in hand, mm. it increases their living standard and can move them above the social class ladder. Yes. That is according to the feminists. Mm, yeah. So we call them the dual class families, where both man and woman, in theory, they might have different classes. Cla dual class family. Okay. Dual. For dual class family, it means both men and women are working. Yeah. But they have different class. The man might be in the middle class, the woman might be in the working class. But because they are working together, 
it leverages things and they become average and they might move into the middle class, full middle class, or even above the middle class. Yeah. That is what, according to the feminist about social class. Yes. So is it clear? Yeah. For, for, for the, we have the, the functionalists, they say it is important to have class because class makes the society to function. Yeah. For, for, the, for Karl Marx, he believes class is structured, it's part of the capitalist ideology. Mm -hmm. For Max Weber, he believes it is not just the capitalist ideology. It, it depends on different things, yeah. factors like the family, the income, the marketplace. Yeah. And for the feminists, they believe that both men and women can make the family to move up the social class ladder. By dual class family. By dual class family. I think yeah. it's clear. So the next lesson will be on measuring class.